is set. Green flag set to fly. Ten laps of distance for heat race number one for the Woody's Auto Strictly Stocks. Green flag in the air. Strictly Stocks underway. Fish Pansky gets a really nice jump. Scott Wigan already loses a position to Chris Schroeder. Going to lose the third spot to the 78 of Cashman down the back stretch. Up front, Michelle Fishpansky got a good start. She's going to lead lap number one. They battle behind her now for the second spot. John Cashman in the 78 going to work on Chris Schroeder. Schroeder on the outside group, holding him off for the moment down the back straightaway. Austin Erickson up to fourth in the 22. Then it's a battle for fifth. Between Dolliver in the 29 and the 26 of Scott Wiggins. That time Cashman got a really good run on Schroeder. Inches in front down the back straightaway. He's going to bring the 22 of Austin Erickson with him. Erickson down underneath Chris Schroeder as well. Up front, Michelle Fishpansky looks really good tonight. The 1% leading the field thus far in heat race number one for the Woody's Auto Strictly Stocks. Defending champion John Cashman sits second. Getting a little nudge from the 22 of Erickson down the back straightaway now. Max Dolliver now down underneath the captain, Chris Schroeder, for the fourth spot on the racetrack. Battle for second now. Austin Erickson gets down to the bottom side on the 78 of Cashman down the back straightaway and takes the second spot away. He's got five more laps to reel in your leader, Michelle Fishpansky, halfway home. Five down, five to go, and Fishpansky is sideways down the front stretch. Fishpansky really loose down the front straightaway that time, lost a lot of momentum, and Erickson is there now on the 22. Erickson makes easy work going down low on Fishpansky, but Fishpansky says, oh no you don't, slams the door shut on Erickson. Erickson gets a good run once again down the front straightaway and pulls even with Fishpansky. Down through turns one and two, gonna be a new leader, car number 22, Austin Porkchop Erickson. Fishpansky, your early leader, settles into the second spot. Cashman third, Dolliver fourth, and Schroeder rounds out the top five of the 66K. Battle for third, heating up now. Cashman in the 78, feeling the pressure from Londonderry, New Hampshire driver, Mad Max Dolliver in car 29. Two laps to go at the line, and Austin Erickson starting to run away from the rest of the field. Fishpansky still doing a nice job sideways once again with that 1% car burning the right rear up. White flag in the air, final trip round for your leader, Ashland, Massachusetts driver, Port Drop, Austin Erickson. Fishpansky trying to hold up John Cashman. Cashman looks low now down the back stretch for the final time. Checkered flag in the air, heat race number one for the Woody Auto Strictly Stocks. Going to go to Austin Erickson. Second will go to Michelle Fishpansky at the line. Third to John Cashman. Fourth to Max Dollar and fifth to the captain, Chris Schroeder. Green flag in the air, Woody's Auto Strictly Stock. Heat race two is green. We own sideways at the start. Hangs onto that car. That could have been a catastrophe there at the start of this race. Down the back straightaway now. Kenny Caveman Scott leads the field. Justin Storrs in the 22X looks to the outside groove now. Kenny Scott leads lap number one. Justin Storrs now gets the good run to the outside groove side by side for the top spot down the back straightaway. Doris has the muscle on the outside groove in car 22X. He's going to take the top spot away from Kenny Scott. Scott fights back down on the bottom side, sideways up the front bumper of Jim Storis that time. Storis in the 22X. Now he's going to see his father Jim in the 44 go around the outside of Kenny Scott and take over the second spot. Steve Dufinet going to follow suit on the outside groove in car number 78D and try to take over spot number three. Dufinet now in car 78D, working the outside on Kenny Scott for the third spot. Down the back straightaway, has the motor and has the third spot. Kenny Scott gives him a little nudge that time, gets him a little bit sideways and races back side by side down the front stretch. Ventrilo sitting right there as well in car number 94. Scott and Dufinet make contact one more time and Dufinet clears him and takes the third spot. Halfway home this time by five down, five to go. Four-year leader, Justin Storis. Justin Storis in the 22X. Blew a motor last Saturday night. His team worked hard this week to get him back out here and he looks pretty stout in car number 22X. Jim Storis runs in the second spot. Third is Steve Dufinet. Fourth is Kenny Scott. And fifth is Joey Ventrilo. Battle 
battle for the four spot now. Joey the Jet Ventrilo looks to the bottom side on Caveman Kenny Scott. Ventrilo got a really good run into turn three and four that time, and he looks like he's going to take over that four spot. Scott fights back on the outside group. They're battling for that spot through turns one and two. Give the fourth spot to Joey Ventrilo in car number 94. Two laps to go on the line this time by, and it's been all Justin scores in car number 22X. Jim Storis runs in the second spot, unable to make up any ground on his son. As the white flag is shown down the front straightaway, one more trip around. Steve Dufinet starting to close the gap between himself and that 44 of Jim Storis. But unfortunately, it looks like he's going to run out of time in heat race number two. Checkered flag in the air this time by heat race number two for the Woody's Auto Strictly Stocks. Going to go to Justin Storis. Second will go to Jim Storis. Third, Steve Dufinet. Fourth, to Joey Ventrell. And fifth to the caveman, Kenny Scott. So that rounds up out qualifying action here tonight at Star. We'll roll right into feature racing, starting with the Neva Midgets. 425 laps in distance. 